in the wacky world of government, would it make sense for one government agency to pay another government agency money to do the job they're already funded to do? But that's what happens here in Ottawa. But Parks Canada struck a secret deal with CBC to grant them exclusive rights to the search. But it's even stranger because Parks Canada agreed to pay CBC to take those exclusive rights. CBC and Parks Canada. Well, we got more on this story that we told you about last week. Last week, we were telling you about that untendered contract that saw one government department pay the other government department money for the job we already fund them to do. Well, Parks Canada paid CBC to cover the search for the Franklin expedition. And there's a lot of chatter out there about CBC being paid for news coverage. That wasn't the focus of my monologue last week. My focus was the idea that Parks Canada was paying CBC to do something they claim would have done anyway. It's the idea of $100,000 worth of taxpayers' money being thrown around between government agencies with no oversight. But others are talking about paying for news. And now Jennifer McGuire, the editor-in-chief for CBC News, is out there saying, oh, hold on, this isn't true. Quote, CBC News is determined to uphold the highest possible standards of journalism in every way. We have a very thorough, very public manual on our journalistic practices, standards and practices that includes conflict of interest guidelines. We followed them all in both letter and spirit. In fact, McGuire says CBC was paid $65,000 for just a website. This simply isn't true. The agreement which McGuire was privy to from the beginning, which she was named in, clearly says there will be a payment of $65,000 from Parks Canada to CBC, and in return, CBC will provide a documentary segment for The National, an online component for CBC.ca, an online component for RadioCanada.ca, and segments for nightly news on CBC English and French. McGuire's not being honest with the public. She's been caught doing something she should never have agreed to, and she's trying to make things look better. CBC's been caught they need to tell the truth. Parks Canada also needs to tell the truth. It appears they've given yet another untendered contract to CBC to do, wait for it, to do what CBC's already paid to do through its annual $1.1 billion subsidy. We found another document, an agreement between Parks Canada and CBC to produce a concert in Banff National Park with Parks Canada paying $191,000 to CBC to do the job. The idea is to celebrate Canada's national parks and showcase Canadian artists. It features the band Headley, and it takes place this October. You know, this sounds like a fine program for the state broadcaster, but it raises the question again. Why is a government department paying another government department to do this? Isn't this the whole point of the CBC? The Broadcasting Act, which lays out their role and the reasons that we give them more than $1 billion per year from the taxpayer purse, well, that act actually says CBC will offer a different kind of programming. From the act, the programming provided by the corporation should be predominantly and distinctively Canadian, reflect Canada and its regions to national and regional audiences while serving the special needs of those regions actively contribute to the flow and exchange of cultural expression. This concert that Parks Canada is paying CBC to produce is exactly the kind of event we already pay them to do. A concert, Canadian concert in a Canadian national park with Canadian artists, and we're paying CBC for it twice. The same executive at Parks Canada that signed off on the untendered contract to pay CBC for the, the Franklin expedition coverage, Guess what? He signed off on, on this contract as well. Andrew Campbell must really like the state broadcaster because in the last year, he's found a way to take more than a quarter million dollars earmarked for a national parks program and give it to the CBC to do the job, as I've said, to do the job we've already paid them for. How much of a CBC fanboy do you have to be to take money from your own department and give it to CBC? Parks Canada has actually faced budget cuts. They've been looking at cutting services or increasing fees, but obviously they still have too much money because Andrew Campbell can't give it to CBC quickly enough. I tried asking Mr. Campbell about this deal. He's not taking calls. A press secretary for Environment Minister Leona Glukak, who oversees Parks Canada, she said that, well, the minister is raising this issue with the agency again and reminding them to be wise with tax dollars. 
Like I said about the Franklin Expedition story last week, this is an example of government waste and incompetence. It could only make sense to the bureaucrats that run official Ottawa. Stick around. We've got more to come.